right, so we just learned on the jet, um, which is an older drill that makes you do a lot of things by hand. And the reason that we did that is so that you learn about how the drill press works and um, you kind of learn to take care. You might have a fancier machine in your shop that's digital. So this is a Klausing and um, there's a couple like things that make it unique. The guard is different. Uh, you're welcome to use it. But more importantly, there is two settings here. So um, for forward, you have like step one, and then you can switch that on and hit start, and that will start it. And then um, you can go off, but you always have to make sure to hit stop as well. There's also the second one, and that is your faster speeds. And then you have reverse, which goes backwards, obviously. So we didn't have backwards on the jet. Um, the other thing is that you, instead of changing the speed with the pulleys like I showed you on the jet, you, ha you can change the speed automatically here. So the key to anything that automatically changes the speed for you, whether it's a drill press, whether it's a bandsaw, whatever, is that it should always be running as you change it. If you try to change the speed, just like when you're riding a bike, you can only really change gears while you're biking, it's the same deal here. You can only turn this while um, it's spinning. So um, on this particular press, this dial shows where um, what speed we're at. So right now, we're running at 500 RPM. If I want to crank that up to 750, I just go over here and you can hear that increase. Um, and then, Two, so we're at 750 here. Two doubles the speed, and that puts us at 1500. The other great part of this machine is it has a built in light. That was awkward. You might have a machine with a more automatic turning system. There are also ones that have a digital display, and you just turn a dial and it, it'll adjust it for you. Um, but really, like everything you learned on the jet applies exactly as it does to this classing.